Hey guys, this is Hairball G, and today I'm going to show a little bit more of my LOL slash Dota slash Smite style map. And today, a giant part of these games, the tower. Yay. So, in LOL, I believe they're called turrets and Dota, whatever, and Smite and towers. But they're all, they're all tower-based structures that you have to get through to attack the enemy base. Otherwise, you get massacred. So what I've done here is a tower and it's got its own self-defense system. Unfortunately, making it fire projectiles was a little bit sketchy. Uh, I might be able to implement it later using custom spawners, but for now, it's got something in the middle you have to kill, testificates and later skeletons. And once you do kill it, it'll decrease in health and then it'll use its self-defense mechanism. So before I go into any of the redstone stuff, uh, I shall be demonstrating how the tower works. The Minotaur tower? Uh, no, that's just a standard tower. The Minotaur oh. tower is a lot. It's gonna be a lot cooler. Are we gonna like spawn the Wither? Yep, I'm doing exactly that. I, I just saw the Wither. Like I don't actually know what it does. Oh my God, a giant creeper! What is this? Oh yeah, that's um. I just I wanted that in my in my uh, structure planning map just cuz All right. Let me just set the time. To, like see everything. What do you mean? Like x-ray? No, just like uh full gray. No. No, just set your brightness up a bit. Should probably do the same. Oh my god, that bite. Oh my god. All right, it's fine. Like it's fine. All right, come back here. Come back. We've got supplies. Oh my god. So yeah. Okay. Just get your get your shit from the chest. Okay. You'll need it. Also, try not to die too hard. Totally gonna die really hard. Yeah. Oh shoot! Wait. Okay, whatever. We can be Team Not Hairball G for the moment. Cause right now it's Team Hairball G's tower. But who cares? Nah. Who cares? Are you ready? Wait. Are you recording? I'm definitely recording. I see the the little marker. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh. You are so good. So we have to kill whatever spawns in the middle. Okay. No oh, wait. Ah! Yeah. Right. Yeah, and also watch out for the stuff that spawns around it. Oh, I found that out after I saw that freaking die. Oh, dude, sorry, I was hitting you. Do you need bread or something? Alright, you do that. Crap, zombies. Nutritious and fun. Mm, yum yum. Wait, so how long did you pump out off for? Uh, the tower? Yeah. It's, let's see. Well, it's got, it's got a couple more health left. Uh, if you see, like, around the tower, there's lit and unlit lamps, and that tells you how much health it has. Ah. Oh man. I need the bread. Oh! Awful. Freaking poison spider! Ow! Red is awesome on the go. Help through death. Oh. Wait, we almost got it, we almost got it. I think we may have gotten it. Nope. Oh yeah, we got it. I'm just gonna shoot this stuff. Alright, we just... Oh, what? the colors are wrong. But we just captured the tower. High five, man. High five. High five. High five. All right, let's start with how you attack the tower. So, this guy right here, um, well, the trades really don't have to do with anything, but if you kill him, it will count as you attacking the tower, and it will lift the, uh, the pressure off the pressure plate, which um, sends a redstone signal down. So, Let's just demonstrate that. And a whole bunch 
after that happens. So, you probably heard a couple of pistons going off. What happened there was when the pressure plate... Shoot. Um, well, one of these lines. The, uh, the redstone signal gets lifted, and so all this machinery is built for one little pulse that activates when there is nothing on that pressure plate up there. And what that will do is it's going to lift a couple of these gravel blocks up. And that lets the signal pass through them. And then if we go up, you can see that these lamps have been turned off. So I put a little inverter and when these gravel blocks are up, these lamps will be turned off. So once you kill whatever's in there and the pressure's lifted off, it'll send a pulse down and it will turn these lamps off. Uh, now if you've noticed, after I killed the testificate, like a crap ton of these skeletons spawned and uh, it was originally gonna be just hostile mobs but then I realized that hostile mobs will despawn if you get too far away from them. So the testificate, which uh, won't despawn, is is a placeholder, I guess, for the mobs. And so now, now the real power fight begins, I guess. So I'm going to clear this area again. See if we could do a little bit more damage to the tower. All right. All right. So these lamps just turned off, and the lamps can't really see it unless you're really high up, which won't happen. But the lamps are the health of the tower. So how much health the tower has left until um, you can capture it? So right now, I guess it's about halfway done. All right. Let's just kill these. A bit more turned off. I think we're actually down to the last last thing. Last bit of health. I guess not. I guess I have to do it one more time. Alright, we have just captured the tower. You can see that the health is regenerating, and yeah, the color of the tower changed, and it put a little message that we captured the tower. So, as you notice, there is a lot of mobs out right now. Uh, I guess I'll show you that. So when the pressure plate is lifted, it'll send a signal that will hit the gravel blocks up and turn the lamps off. But at the same time, okay. I was, I was kind of obnoxious. At the same time, it will send a pulse up into this and then into this torch which will go all the way up into this little chamber right here and this little oh, it's actually it's actually down here and this little chamber is in charge of spawning the mobs Yeah, it's definitely spawning. It is in charge of spawning the mobs. Huh. How do they still... Uh, this is... This is weird. How do they still have full dispensers? But so every time you take down a bit of the tower's health, it is going to spawn mobs back into the center, so you have to clear the pressure plate again. And also, it's going to spawn these mobs, um, a random mob from this and that's to make uh, tower capturing a little more challenging you know add a self-defense system 
to the tower so it just doesn't die immediately. Alright, so that is that's the health and self defense portion of the tower. In games like LOL and Smite and Dota, the objective is to destroy the enemy towers, but instead of that, I uh, implemented a capture system to the towers. Uh, I found it, it was probably uh, better for a Minecraft rendition of the map. So, as you can see, this is color blue. This is the team not hairball G color. Uh, that's obviously going to change later, but so that's blue and we'll come back to that and now you can see the uh, the health it's just last bit of health towers last bit of health and I'm gonna just murder these guys with my diamond sword remember this is gonna be a lot harder if you're not in creative mode so alright I've cleared that and it's now green which is the team hairball G color so I'm not sure what to show you first the uh... alright let's start easy and start with the flip-flop alrighty so when so the gravel uh, when when a pulse is sent through, more gravel will be put up. Like I think three or four blocks of gravel will be pushed up by pistons. And when it reaches the very end, it's going to activate a pulse that will reset all of the pistons. It'll turn them off, and so the gravel will fall back down. And that's going to reset the health up in the tower. And at the same time, it's going to send a signal down here, which is going to activate this little flip-flop. So right now, power is going through this signal and into this block, which is, say, Team Hairball G has captured a tower. But if another signal is sent through, meaning that the tower was killed, it'll switch and team not hairball G has captured the tower uh, will be announced over the server so let's put that back so that's uh, how the command blocks are gonna work as well there is gonna be you know more signal coming out and these will go to their specified bases and give the base XP and gold and congratulatory fireworks maybe something like that and so the machinery in here is, is quite complex oh um great where am I gonna all right let's break in here all right it's pretty cozy in here as you can see yeesh so that same signal that is going to reset the pistons, uh, reset the health, and also announce the team change is also going to send a signal up here, which is basically going to cycle these pistons and push a different color out. So I can I can switch these colors with say red and blue, and it'll cycle. It'll just cycle them. So every time a tower gets killed or actually captured these pistons will move around how they move around and a different color will be pushed out and that'll that'll uh, mark who owns the tower so before you attack a tower you're gonna wanna look at the color of it make sure you're not attacking your own team's tower uh, unfortunately they could only be the color could only be two blocks because of space constraints in that room up there. That was very unfortunate. I, I tried to make it three blocks, but it just didn't work out. The redstone was colliding and yada yada. So that's the tower system in my uh, Dota LOL smite map. 
that's how it's going to work. It, it's uh, complete with its self-defense system, a health tracking system, a full reset, and team capture announcing. So it's pretty much complete. However, I'm still trying to find a way to add firing uh, fire charges or gas fireballs. Uh, it's it's pretty difficult because of space and also like, amount of time it'll take to put it together. What I'm thinking is I'll probably put spawners, uh, fireball spawners, and then turn turn them on and off according to which team owns the tower. But that might be impractical, so I don't know how that'll turn out. I think I pretty much explained everything that exists on the tower now, so I will see you guys next time.